What's up guys? Gonna show you how to play this song I Wanna Remember by Need to Breathe. It's gonna sound something kind of like this. This feels like one of those moments moving by so fast. You wanna do something just to make it last. You wanna do something to remember. And I wanna memorize you stay here forever cause I, I, and I, I, I take a picture in my mind but we're always together cause I, I, and I, I wanna remember so hang tight I'm gonna show you how to play that in a minute All right, so the song, it's in the key of A, so we're gonna go capo on the second fret. We're gonna play the G shapes, so that's gonna put the guitar into the key of A. So the chords we need for this song, we need the G chord. We need the C at nine chord. We need the E minor. And then we need the D chord. So I will probably just do like this D chord, just kind of like the D sus. If you wanted to do that three, kind of like that D major, that three finger D, um, you can definitely do that. So um, yeah, pretty easy song. I'm gonna kind of show you some of the rhythm, the chord progression, and also just show you some of the, kind of like that little first verse, little, little picking stuff there. So let's start with just the strumming. So the verse, the verses are gonna start off with the G, then E minor, C, and then that's gonna repeat G, E minor, C. So we'll just kind of do just those, it's kind of like a driving strum pattern. So we'll just kind of do some some driving um, down strums. So you could do something like this. This feels like one of those moments moving by so fast. You wanna do something just to make it last. You wanna do something to remember. So down strum wise, we're going um, See, I think 12 down on the G, eight down on the E minor, and then eight down on the C. So this two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four, three, four, one, two, 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 three, four. So I'll just kind of sink through that one more time. This feels like one of those moments moving by so fast. You wanna do something just to make it last. You wanna do something to remember. So it's the first verse. We don't really need to be going too, too crazy, like aggressive strumming, anything like that. Um, but that's going to be, you know, your chord progression for for verse for all the verses, pretty much. Verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, nothing changes there. Um, so then we'll get to the chorus. There's no pre-chorus for this song, which is uh, makes teaching it kind of nice. So the, the, the chorus is just sticking on that same strum pattern and that same chord progression, G, E minor, C. So... I wanna memorize you, wanna stay here forever Cause I, I, I take a picture in my mind So we're always together And I, 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 I wanna remember Tag, same thing
So that tag is just um remember. Yeah, it's just the is so E minor, C, G. Similar rhythmic strumming, just kind of some down strums there. So I'll play through the uh, chorus again. And I wanna memorize, you wanna stay in forever. Cause I, and I take a picture in my mind so we're always together. Cause I, and I wanna remember. that goes into verse three. So just if you wanted to add a little bit more rhythm to the chorus, like maybe the second chorus, you know, you could do, I'm not gonna break down this drum pattern, but you could just do something um, kind of like I was doing in that little, the intro part of this video. I want to memorize, I want to stay here forever. Cause I, I take a picture in my mind so we're always Maybe just, you know, mess around, play around with kind of loosening up your wrist, getting a little rhythmic strum pattern there. Um, but that will work for the um, all the verses, uh, both choruses, that little tag at the end of the um, chorus. Uh, so then we'll get to the the bridge here, and and then we'll once we do the bridge, that's pretty much the end of the song. Then we'll go back and kind of do some do 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 do. We can either I'll show you some finger picking, or just things that you can also do with your guitar pick to just kind of give it a cool little um, you know intro and in verse one. So the bridge is going to be E minor, G, C, and then E minor, G, C. So pretty easy. We just do the bridge one time. So that bridge, it's just going to be the same pretty much um, strum pattern. It's going to go, then I don't know how every... Every second gets better I wanna be here now I want to remember And maybe they do that twice I'm just kind of drawing a blank up there, up here Just with that bridge Maybe they do it um, a second time So just strumming wise, like down strum And I don't know how Every second gets better I wanna be here now I want to remember So it's just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So just the eight down on the E minor, eight down on the G. And then you'll do uh, uh, 16 down on that C chord. So 8 down on the E minor, 8 down on the G, 16 down on the C, and then you'll repeat it. So, so that's the song. Um, if you want to stick around, I'm going to show you how to do some finger picking um, for that first verse. But that shows you the chords the chord progression, some strumming for the song. So let's go back now to the first verse, that chord progression, G, E minor, C. So I'm just gonna get into my finger picking position here on the right hand side. Um, got some nice little white paint there on the, on the hands. Um, but so I'm gonna get in my finger picking position 
If you are new to finger picking, if you've never done it before, I've got a couple of lessons that I do that I've done on finger picking, how to finger pick, uh, where your fingers need to be. So I'll link both of those lessons up top and in the description below. I can't go through all of that in this lesson today, um, but I'm just in. I'm doing the same thing that I'm teaching those lessons. So thumb floats between the top three strings for the bass note, depending on the chord. The pointer finger always assigned to that G string. Middle finger always assigned to that B string. And then the ring finger just kind of hangs out on that high E string. You can use it if you want to, but, but really, you're just gonna be going like this. This feels like one of those moments moving by so fast. So it's, I mean, it, it it sounds amazing, I mean, it's, it's but it's super, super easy. So it's just thumb, thumb, pointer, thumb. Yeah, so I don't even know if I'm really even using my middle finger for this. Nah, definitely not. So if you wanted to add in that, just kind of that ring finger, or the, the middle finger. You could just add it in there. Um, you know, no, no specific pattern, just instead of doing the, pointer finger you're just doing your middle finger picking that string on the uh, on the B string there and you can do the same thing with uh, you know you just using your guitar pick uh, just you know using that same pattern Adding in just kind of like maybe this, this uh, you know, the bottom two strings. So yeah, you can really just pick any strings and they're, they're gonna sound fine. So maybe just kind of like play along with that structure there of the finger picking, which strings in that order. And then you can, yeah, use the guitar pick if you want to. Um, but yeah, that's a wrap you guys. Hope this lesson helps you out. Um, I'll put the chord charts for this on my Patreon page which I'll link in the description down below. And if you have just any questions on whatever in this lesson, finger picking, strumming, chords, just leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll try to do the best I can to help you out. So love y'all. Have a good week. Talk to you soon.